This poem is called Strange Wind of Starlessness. I'm not trying to reach some divine ear. Imagine, where once was mercy, trash now crunches like leaves under stars. If only there were still stars. They understood my chatter as prayer, this air going nowhere in the strange wind of starlessness. If some universal frequency synced to me, like I was miked, I surely flub my lines, mumble, stutter, seem disrespectful and syntactically and unstable. I divide my time between a fuzzy, word-averse, kinetic sadness, and being stunned into silence as a worldview. I don't ask for mercy anymore. Don't hang around that empty office like a good kid who gets in trouble with all the love she gives to get. But shouldn't I ask for something? Don't I need what's out there? Of course, the universe is not a store. It's more like a franchise, <laughs> with nothing for sale but the idea of no real ownership. An idea which, hilariously, belongs to the universe. In short, there are no choices, only choices within choices. I cannot choose a star out of the enormous sky without a voice inside me chiming. There's no one who can give you that, child. Nobody's to give. Like you're nobody's, child. Only child of your own lonely childhood. But you keep wishing someone would listen and not just tell you to hush, to go to sleep, to dream as if dreaming can show you what you want. What words get in exchange for telling on us. What we are, even what we think we don't think we are. I can't make up my mind. How can I make up someone to read it? Out of all those open books left outside, who but the wind turns any of those pages. The wind. It knows me. I believe it does.